But let you know the better, my friend. The let you know the better, amigo. Uh, but look, I had a manager tell me that one time. Or well, a team lead supervisor, sort of like. You know, shout out to Harold, man. Harold was cool. Was, you know, cool Spanish guy. And I was at this particular warehouse. Matter of fact, I'm wearing a shirt right now. I'm not going to show the logo. But um, I worked there a couple years ago. I was there for almost three years. Real good job, man. I want to work there again, but you motherfuckers, you know, tripping. But anyways, Harold, you know, he was a cool supervisor or whatever. He joke around with you. He was somebody you could trust, man. He going to look out for you. Cause I was like one of the fast pickers, you know, order selectors and shit. We had to do it on our feet. The job we did, where the headsets, where it talked to you, then you talk back to it, and then send it to a location, tell you how many items to pick, that type of shit. Warehouse work. A lot of good memories though, you know, a little bit of drama that happened at the job, but for the most part it was a cool job. But one day, uh, the buddy I was cool with named Jay, you know, came to me was like, man, you know what Harold told me? He said he went to Harold about something. And then <laughs> Harold like, was like, he said some shit and then he looked at him when the conversation was ended. He was like, one more thing. The less you know, the better. The less you know, the better. Like he gave him that like that wink, that wink look. The less you know, the better. <laughs> you know? And Jay told me that Harold had told him that. So I took that as Harold telling me that, you know what I'm saying? The less you know, the better. So in life sometimes, bro, the less you know, the better, man. And I guess I can, like, use that to, in regards of talking about, like, workplace gossip, drama, and stuff. You know, hearing stuff through the grapevine and, you know, all these rumors and stuff you probably run across with in the workplace. Which is going to happen. A lot of things happen in the workplace. I mean, because life is boring sometimes, you know, people like, like drama, people like to stir up shit, you know, so you're going to hear rumors about other people, people might be talking about you behind your back, that's why I used to say, you know, co-workers are not your friends, so, but sometimes you may find yourself getting kind of caught up in these workplace conversations where they talking shit about people, man, and sometimes it's entertaining, but you don't want to get too caught up with that, that, that nonsense, but like Harold said, Harold said, the less you know, the better, my friend. The less you know, the better. And it's true. Whether you're talking about the workplace or just everyday life, sometimes the less you know, the better. Because the more you know, the more you're held accountable for, man. With great power comes great responsibility, man. With great knowledge comes a lot of bullshit. All right, man, I tried to wait till the rain go down. It's pouring fucking cats and dogs outside. I don't know how loud I sounded to the fucking phone, so don't think I have autism. I just gotta yell from my point of view so I can get my message across so you motherfuckers can hear me. You know what I'm saying? From my, from my angle, it's raining loud as fuck. And I was kind of going down. But like I was saying, the less you know, the better. With great responsibility comes, wait, no. With great power comes great responsibility. With, with knowing a lot of shit comes a lot of bullshit and drama. So it's best to stay out of that shit for the sake of your mama. Because believe me, there's a lot of shit I wish I didn't have knowledge of. And I really believe that shit, man, the less you know the better. Even when it comes to like spiritual stuff. You know, y'all know I hate, on, I hate on spiritual stuff every now and then. Okay, now I can lower my voice, man. I know y'all tired of me yelling at the damn phone. But, um, it's like some shit I felt like I learned when it came to religious stuff and spiritual stuff. I feel like that shit brought spiritual, spiritual attacks, man. Spiritual attacks. Demonic harassment. all kind of bullshit I had to fucking put up with. I think I'm still kind of like probably suffering from some of that bullshit now. You know? And when I look back at certain things, it's like, damn, I just, I wish I would have never, like, dived into that shit, man. But I, I was just so eager to learn things and, and have knowledge on certain things that I was just, I would just add it like an eager student. I was excited to learn things, but that shit, like I said, once you know something, you held accountable for that knowledge. 
It's like, what's the point of learning something if it ain't gonna be applied to your life? And if you try to learn something and don't do nothing with it, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. The universe, God, however you wanna classify it as, they gonna throw some bullshit your way to see what you're going to do with that knowledge that you learned. Do I got to repeat myself? When you learn something, when you gain knowledge of something, the universe slash God, whatever you want to call it, is going to throw something your goddamn way just to see if you're going to apply that knowledge to your life. Yeah, you could, oh yeah, you can try to be slick. You can try to learn some shit and gain knowledge and try to sit in the bushes like a damn raccoon and act like life is sweet and nothing gonna happen. Nah, motherfucker, bring your ass from out them bushes. Go ahead and get this ass whooping. Uh-huh. Go grab that switch off the tree for your ass. And grab the biggest one, too. Don't be slick trying to grab a little small. Hey, that life gonna whoop your ass now. Don't think your ass gonna learn some shit and try to, you know, and be on some kumbaya shit. Oh, hell nah, nigga. And life will do it to your ass, man. Life gonna, life gonna throw some shit your way and just to see. So, anyways, that's just on some life shit. I can go deep with that spiritual shit. But anyways, even like, let's say, workplace, for example. If you get involved with rumors and stuff and you, to where you, like, you're participating with the gossip going on at work, you full-blown into that shit, you raw-dogging that shit like a motherfucker, hey, Best believe you're gonna be held accountable for whatever whatever happens with that situation, you're gonna be a part of that. That's why people say it's best not to even get involved in workplace conversations like that. I mean you can talk about little shit, you know, simple shit every now and then, but like when you talking about people behind their back with other people, first of all, them people are gonna most likely probably talk behind your back the first time you rub them the wrong way or they don't like how you carrying yourself, you know. And then second of all, once the person y'all talking shit about get wind of it. And then they bring that smoke to y'all ass. Hey, don't try to act like, oh, nah, I do, nah, nah, man. You part of it. Guilty by association, bitch ass motherfucker. That's how they gonna look at it. So it's best sometimes, like, not to even know certain things. Somebody come to you, you know, some people, like, got a crabs in the bucket mentality. They wanna bring that shit to you just so you can be in with the mix. You know, some people are just lonely. They just need somebody to talk to. And they entertained by fucking miserable gossip. They wanna bring it to you, man. They want to see how you react to it. Feed into the negative energy with me, motherfucker. You know? So, if some shit come down on them, and then they know that they was gossiping with your ass, then they gonna come to you like, what what, what do so-and-so be saying, or this and that and that? Some of y'all have been involved in like workplace drama and toxicity. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you know it's not it's not even cool it's not fun man it's best to just stay stay clear from that kind of stuff the less you know the better my friend like Harold said shout out to Harold man the less you know the better man I, and I, it is so simple but it's so fucking real it's so small of an advice but that shit can really save your fucking life it can make you like live a peaceful life of no stress the less you know the better bro. Some things is not meant for you to know. You want to dabble with Pandora's box? You want to open your third motherfucking eye? You want to fuck with all that chakra shit? All right. You know, whatever's on the other side of that portal got something for your black ass or whatever ass, whatever color your ass is, no homo. They got something for your ass on the other side of that Pandora's box in that dimension, all right. You want to be Mr., you know, spiritual man? All right, spiritual man. Bring your ass here, spiritual man. Spiritual man. Yeah, they gonna grab a fucking leash and grab your ass and snatch you into another fucking world. Fucking tear your ass up. I done had spiritual attacks, voices yelling at me and shit. Like, I, you know, I ain't about to go into all that, but some scary ass shit. Stuff trying to kill you in your sleep, drown your ass, cut your air supply off, all kind of shit, man. Cause I was just dibbling and dabbling in too much different shit at once. And that's just how I get, man. I go 100% at that shit, man. I go 110% when I get serious about something. I had to fall back from that spiritual shit. I ain't even gonna lie. I still could touch on it from time to time. I just ran the red light. I don't give a fuck it. But, hey. The less you know, the better, bro. That's why sometimes I... 
sometimes I resent even having knowledge on something. I'm just, you know, ahead of my time, bro. I hate this knowledge I got. And I feel like it's just, it's a curse. Some people, you know, got respect for you. Oh, man, hey, man, you speak a lot of truth, man. You know, you real, man. You know what I'm saying? I like how you break shit down, bro. But, like, behind closed doors, this shit fucking sucks, man. I hate having all this knowledge, man. I can literally almost touch on any kind of topic, you know, especially when it comes to spiritual shit. But that shit come with a price. Nigga, you gonna have curses on your life. You gonna have spiritual attacks. You gonna have, I mean, you gonna have blessings too, but it's mainly not on no pretty shit, bro. It's some, some really dark shit. Sometimes I wish I was just ignorant and dumb. Just like majority of the world. I just wish I was your everyday motherfucker just walking around, just having, you know, going to parties and drinking and smoking my life away with no kind of like deep conscious and you know knowledge of you know the world and spiritual things i you know sometimes i just wish i wasn't involved in that that fucking bullshit man i ain't even gonna lie it's almost to the point i'm fucking like damn near i resent even knowing about that shit you know i just wish i was just an everyday motherfucker man with, with nothing to worry about sometimes when you know too much you overthink things the more you know you do over that's why Swimming, right? When you're swimming. It's best to learn how to swim when you were a kid. When, I'm talking about like when you were a toddler, three, four years old, five years old. You know, especially with white people. They throw their they throw they infants in the water and learn to teach them how to swim. You know, I've heard, I've heard some black people doing it too. But y'all know the stereotype about black people not knowing how to swim. <laughs> you know, the majority. But you know what I'm saying? It's best to learn that when you're a baby or when you're a kid. When the older you get, the more knowledge you have of drowning and things in the water and all kind of stuff. So it's hard to teach a grown man how to swim. Try to throw a 30 year old man in the water that don't know how to swim. And then tell me you never heard a grown man scream. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, you're gonna, you gonna hear a grown man scream then. Scream and holler like a damn toddler. She ain't gonna be sweet. But yeah, so it's like, the more knowledge you got, it's just the more shit that going on in your going on in your head. The more you heard a counter before, all of that, man. So the less you know, the better, man. It's just sometimes it's good to know a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. It's good to know a lot of things. Let me stop, bitch. But at the same time, man, be careful what you what you dibble and dabble into, man. Especially when it comes to rumors and gossip. And a lot of times on these jobs and workplaces, man, people want to bring that shit to you. You was minding your business, living life fine. Going to work, doing what you got to do, clock out and leave that bitch. Now they got you involved in all this workplace bullshit. Then when all hell break loose on their ass, that shit coming on you. You get some of the back end of that shit. You know, and you just going to be guilty by association. Oh, you hang around with so-and-so and I know so-and-so be talking shit and I know she talking to you about shit. I know he talking to you about shit. Blah, blah, blah. And you know what I'm saying? You done sat there entertaining that shit thinking shit sweet. Now your ass involved in some unnecessary ass bullshit at the work, at the job, man. And you just trying to go to work and just be and just be cool. So the less you know, the better, man. Sometimes it's best not to know certain things, man. It's a lot of things I just wish I never knew. Even certain things about family, family, relatives, and stuff. You thought you might have seen them as perfect in your eyes, then you find certain things out, and it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, the less you know, the better, man. <laughs> Some things you gotta know. Some things you gotta know, but some things it's best not to know. I guess what's the other saying? What you don't know won't hurt you, some shit like that. Sometimes it's best not to even know certain things, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably do another video talking about um even if you find out something about somebody, or if somebody come to you about some rumors or bullshit like about a person that you already been cool with or that you know personally, don't judge them based off of rumors and the bullshit you don't find out. Judge them off of how they treated you. How y'all personal relationship is. So I'll probably say that for another video. So I could, I, I could hit on that right now. But um, I'll probably say that for another video, man. But anyways, yeah. So remember that, man. The less you know, the better. The less you know, the better, my friend. Me amigo. And I'm out, man.